post it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm, so I'm, I'm what, what am I again? Show them, show them what I am. So I'm five, eight and a quarter, or three quarters? Five, eight and a quarter. Okay. I mean, how much, right, how much do I weigh? So I'm gonna give you, um, let's see. Okay, go ahead. One twenty. One twenty. Okay, so it's better than last time. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a good thing. All right. Okay, we're gonna go right this way when you're ready. Okay. Good night, Vivian. Good night, Char. See you tomorrow. Hey, let's get ready. Is Dr. Pearson? Am I going to him right now? Uh, well, I'm going to put uh -oh. you here and open your chart and then he'll be in. Okay. Okay? Okay. Wait, I need a picture of you too, please. <laughs> please. It's because you don't stop talking about you. I'm sort of glad. I'm not even being dramatic. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to see a sign too. Gotta love my doctors and my nurses. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You can get a good oh. one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I should go on this screen. Yay. Okay, okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank of course, you. of course, Thank of course. Right, I'm He'll gonna, be in shortly, okay? Right, I'm gonna sit down. This isn't HIPAA violation. May I asked if I could just hold I'm showing off my watches. You know me. You know me. You know me. Too many. Too much diamond and gold. Yeah, I'm the patient here. There's no HIPAA violation, but everyone's trying to trap me. But they're not. They're not going to do it. So I'm just trying to live, guys. Just let me live, okay? And take care of myself, please. If I want to document it, I can. Thank you. You see my Rolex ring? No one even commented on my Rolex ring. You guys are bitches. My nails are dirty as fuck. Wait, how do I take a picture? Guys, I go to the doctor all the time. I know what I'm doing. Please, please just leave me alone. I'm just trying to take care of myself. All right? Be healthy. Responsible adult, unlike a lot of people. Make sure you report LMG. You guys are just sitting there watching. I know I'd appreciate it if you would report all the bad stuff. It literally gets rid of all of them. Fuck everybody. LMG shut down.
Thank you. You guys look great too. Hey. Hello there. Looks like you're losing some weight there, man. I have lost a bit. I was just some stupid diet and then my kidney stones bother me and all that crap. Oh, God. Um, I'm on Instagram Live, by the way. Who? Just Instagram Live. So, That's just funny. so you know, I just want them to know that I take care of myself. So, there there's go. been a lot of bullshit out there, as you know. So, uh, this is my doctor, everybody. <laughs> and, Hello there. Uh, How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> my stuff is good one, so I look official. He's seen me about, what, <laughs> five, six times in the last couple months? Something like that. So, um, yeah, uh, there's just been, uh, well, there's been a couple issues that I got, um, in my right foot, I keep getting this, um, I keep getting this, like, this stretch. I, I don't know if it's because of the arch of my foot or the way I stand, but it'll, it'll pull in these, in, in like, the tendons, like, in this area right here. It'll get a little tight? Yeah, it, it kind of feels like it gets tight. At night? Like, yeah. And you're, like, when you get in bed? Well, if maybe sitting, sitting especially like driving. And how often is it happening? Almost every day. Any cramping in the back of your legs? No. You know, I get toe cramps. I've had them for a while. And I don't know if it's a cramp. It feels like some sort of a pulled tendon or something. Yeah, you haven't pulled your tendon. They don't, they don't pull. Or like, well, it, that's what the feeling is. That's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, it's saying. Like, yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's like a weird stretching. Yeah. Like so, something's wrong. Nothing, with nothing major there. Nothing. It's just, it's just getting older. Sensation. Dancing. I I, I was gonna say I get my toes will like curl up like that. It's crazy. Where does this come from? <laughs> and this happens out of the blue. And um, well, also, um, you know, I talked to you about, you know, when I was nineteen, I was diagnosed with a hiatal hernia. Now, the the cigarettes that I'm doing right now is like explosive. I am under a severe, severe amount of anxiety and stress over all of the stuff that I'm going through, and. It's it's literally just you know I'm I'm getting stalked now at my house. Mm. I have to leave people, um, and because I'm coming out about my brother being a rapist, I have all these fans. Who was a rapist? My brother, man. Okay. And and he, I guess he's just really mad, and he's got all these people targeting me, and I was ruining Which my brother? business, Nick. Oh. So and 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 um. When did that come out? That happened since I saw you last. Hmm? That happened since I saw you guys, because I don't remember that. Yeah, it's, it's happened in like the last couple of months, you okay. know? And and my stomach is really like, it's it's really like flared up. Like like my hiatal hernia is like in my chest now. Mm -hmm. It's like really bad. Like the um, omeprazole, and it, I mean, I take it. I take, the, I take you know, that. I take the propranolol, but that's that's it. I will not, I refuse to take Cerebral. I don't like it. My mom got. My mom literally was prescribed to like you know, two hundred milligrams of of Seroquel, and is I put her. I put her in rehab, you know. My brother after we had to talk with her, I put her in rehab su successfully for like forty six days. And she goes back to her environment. Goes back two on days, that. and then on top of it, they prescribe her the medication. On top of drinking, she never took medication in her whole life. Mm. So now she doesn't even realize that. Her chances are now, really, and I so I try to, to help them, and then my whole family is like after me trying to get me fifty one fifty because they think I'm mentally insane. Do you think that I'm mentally insane? Everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you think that I'm, I, I'm? I I know you have some psychological issues that I haven't put a finger on what they are because I haven't gotten a report from a psychiatrist from you. I I don't usually make the only diagnosis I can usually tell probably much off the bat is whether you're bipolar. Or whether you're a little depressed. Think I'm bipolar? Schizophrenic is pretty obvious. Am I schizophrenic? But if you have my, no. Schizophrenic people can't talk to me. What do you we, mean? We can't carry on a conversation. They start, th their mind's going here and here. They can't carry okay. on a conversation. Okay. So okay. you're not that. Okay. Well, bipolar, what is that? I'm bipolar not... has a tendency people talk a lot, don't need much sleep, uh, get feel have periods of either paranoia, mm. or they're, they're worried about everything around, or they'll have like hallucinations or delusions of, 
of things. So don't, don't you think? Or, so don't you think it's ironic that I come out with all this stuff and then all these fans are pushing me, telling me I'm bipolar or schizophrenic? Well, they can't tell you that. They don't like, know your symptoms. Well, I'm not bipolar. So, well, I don't know that. I can't say that when we're there because I don't know about all your symptoms. Well, I've, I was treated by Doctor Sagan. I told you with Lisa Benya, they tried lithium out on but, me. And but it, there's a spectrum. It's like autism. There's a spectrum for bipolar. There's people fully frank manic and people with slight bipolar tendencies. Well. well I am. A, I will stand up for myself. I'm aggressive. Um, if yeah. if I'm backed into a corner, but I think You're that can be misconstrued. Huh? You ever do things that are never? Risky? Oh, you're probably not bipolar then. I okay. don't. I mean, so, a, a four wheeler ride. Yeah. No. I mean, um, bipolar people do really strange things. Um, you know, going online, yeah. maybe uh, trying to lure people in that yeah. will, are, are are hurt and help them. So you're going to show me something in your stomach? Yeah. Well, see. I, I always know that the hyoda hernia is, like, affected. And you can't see it from the outside at all. Well. So it just it has symptoms on the inside. So you take an omeprazole only once a day? I take it as prescribed. Well, I mean, if you're really having a morning, bad time, like you can morning. take it morning and evening. Well, well, you only told me in the morning, initially. I didn't give it to you, at least not the last time you were here. Um. The first time, we gave it to you in July, and then we didn't refill it again. Mm -hmm. So we had had you on uh, one every other day back then. Right, right. But you're having more problems now. Well, I mean, the problems are this fucking stress. This, well, you and now I gotta move. Take, I gotta take it more often than right now. Take what? That the, the meprazole. Uh, oh, it really? Every day. Oh, really? Because of the all right. Well, so now I know we spoke about Chantex before. I mean. I would like to get on You're it. Ready to I'm ready to do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to get off the cigarettes. It's, I got my voice. We can send that in. Uh, so I definitely, definitely need a Chantix. And which pharmacy? Uh, well, the, the, probably the same one. I, I'm okay. signing off, guys. Love you guys. All is good. At least you can hear my doctor. He, in his opinion, he he does not declare me as bipolar. I don't think I'm bipolar. And he's certainly not crazy. Off the wall, maybe not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're the man. Come on, you got to put some weight on too, man. No, you're no, looking skinny. All right, love you guys. Um, anyway, um, also, another thing I wanted to talk to you about too was is that, you know... You're off now? No, no, I'm going to stay on it just yeah, for a I second. Yeah, I want you to stay off because I haven't talked about some things. Okay, okay. Bye.